Hey guys, I'm back with another quick up, quick update here. So, uh, past uh, day, I've been working on these flat stacks. I got a my buddy from Utah is cutting me some clamps for this, so that's why these are all out so far. But once I clamp them, it'll be similar to that. But I'll probably see if I can try and get away with four clamps per side. And uh, cutting these leaf springs out, I had to that uh, center metal collar piece thing came out. So tomorrow I'm going to try and go over to the farm and use our press and press this back in there. If it don't work, oh well. If it does, that'll be nice. But yeah, so I got 11 leaves here, uh, some, the ones with black paint are from a 80s square body, Chevy square body, three quarter ton, and then the other ones, most of the ones I flipped were from a, uh, the frame that that box came off of, but yeah. I talked to uh, Postal Mopar guys and I'm supposed to message him on Monday and see how they're getting along with all the bracing and stuff because they had Capital City Carnage and all that stuff to go to so they were behind a little bit but should should be working on this thing soon and uh I'll probably end up getting the pads like this because they're cheaper. But yeah, uh, let's see what else. Brothers got this front axle in here. He's putting this under the Super Duty frame. And so he's just cutting all the extra crap off that we don't need so we can clear 15s. Because I, I had to cut a bunch of stuff off the front of that to put 15s on. Because I'm going to be running 15s all the way around. Uh, oh, yeah. This is a rear end. My dad's more than likely going to be running. It's got 456 gears in it. Never derbied. Uh, we'll put the pinion brake from that one onto this one. And then maybe brace it up. I don't know. Probably not though, just weld up spiders and then, you know, um, let's see, I added my kickers, core support kickers in, uh, I had to have this bottom one come in low so it would clear the sidebar of my cradle. And then I put that top one in there so in case somebody rips out my front axle and they clear my bumper, it just doesn't kink right there and shove all that back into my engine. Hopefully they don't complain about that, but I don't know. Wouldn't blame them if they did. <sighs> I think that's all for now. Probably have another video tomorrow. Finishing some stuff up. Yeah, I'll probably have another video tomorrow, so please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see more of. Thanks. What's up, guys? I'm back with another quick update here. Um, so, we got the Dana 60 that was sitting under my dad's truck pulled out because I think I got it sold. This is it. But I might not have it sold. I don't know yet. He hasn't got back to me yet. Um, we've got... We had to move a bunch of stuff out of the way to get two grain carts out. So this is what it's looking like in here. We put the rear ends over there. Uh, yeah. Cleaned in here quite a bit. You know, 
Got all those up there. So let's go outside. Uh, finally got around to pulling the cage out of the duo car. So, you guys probably can't see it that good, but phone battery's too low to use the flash, so this is a cage. Cut cut the top halo off. Cut the bar down the center and then cut the side bars out. It's got the battery tray and all that there. And then I started filling this full of metal and crap. So yeah. And also I got the frame started for my new derby or my not my new one my old derby truck started on it instead of buying another ford frame or whatever i got this square body frame for some axles and uh i ended up chopping the front 18 inches off the frame and putting a dodge frame chunklet under there just kind of crappily welded up and then these are just tacked on to move because this front end will be a spare for my derby truck in there but yeah so I'd show you guys that well please like subscribe comment down below what you want to see more of thanks